Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to play Steve Cropper and stacked record style guitar parts. Here's the track. One of the main challenges for a soul guitar player is to stay out of the way of the rest of the band. So let's take a look at the A section, which is all about thinning things out. There are only two chords in the first section, an A major and a D major. But those voicings are gonna to sound too full, too muddy against the rhythm section. So soul players often use simple intervals of fourths and double stops to really thin the sound out. So in the A major chord, we have double stops on the top here, intervals of fourths and here. So we can start building our parts using those two ideas, both intervals of fourths. Steve Cropper will commonly take an interval of a fourth and hammer on within the shape like this. So that's the first finger hammering on to the third finger and that's on the B string from fret five to fret seven. And then in the next set of fourths, you'll hammer on from the first, thing, first finger to the third finger, frets four to six on the G string. But the hammer on's really fast, so it's not this. It's really quick, it's a grace note, so the note on the B string is actually there very briefly. We can use the fourths, the double stops that are on the D and the G strings at fret two. But again, we can use the Steve Cropper idea of hammering on within that shape. So we start to get these melodic ideas coming through. Here's the first section slowly. And then if you vary that the second time round, you get this really cool call and response type idea. And then the third time round, we just do this. which is exactly the same thing we did on the first time through. The next section is inspired by another great soul guitar player, Cornell Dupree. His style was a little bit different to Steve Cropper's, so let's take a look at how he'd approach things. Here's why I play on the three chord of the C sharp minor. So what we have there is a broken chord. We play the low strings followed by a stab on the high strings. And keep that stab quite percussive, so take the pressure off the index finger when you've hit the strings. Now on the three chord in this key, the fourths we can play are on fret nine, 12, and 14. So we can build our part using those three fourths. And I play this. And that's a real Cornell Dupree inspired idea. 
The next chord is the sixth chord, F sharp minor, F sharp minor seven. And in this shape, in this particular key, the fourths are gonna be on fret nine and 10 of the G and B strings, and frets 11 and 12. So I play this part. The more you play this style, the more you'll learn where you can play these intervals of fourths, and then you can use them in any key on any track. Before we move on, I just want to let you know you can get the tab, backing track, and the chart for this track by joining me on Patreon. Links are below. And if you want to go a lot deeper with soul guitar, check out my two soul guitar books, which you can find on Amazon. Let's move on. Next, we go to the two chord, B minor seven, followed by the five chord, E major. And I play this on the B minor seven. So what I'm doing there is playing intervals of fourths and a third. So the fourths are on fret seven, but this is an interval of a third on fret 10 of the B string and fret nine of the E string. And then fourths on fret nine of the G string and fret 10 of the B string. Now you can play the same fourths on the B minor that we did on the C sharp, so we could do this. But the third here just gives us some more variety. Now when we get to the E chord, I'm gonna use intervals of sixths instead of fourths, which sounds like this. And that's a real Steve Cropper type sound. We're gonna hybrid pick there. We're gonna use the pick for the G string and the middle finger for the E string. So again, it's just a varied sound. Instead of playing fourths, intervals of sixths, which give us a slightly different texture. The next section of the track just follows what the intro does. So let's move on to the final couple of bars. Here are the outro chords. We're using various inversions here. So we get a bass line that takes us back down to the A major. We're gonna use hybrid picking here. Pick's gonna take care of the low E string. Middle finger takes care of the D string and the third finger plays the G string. So here's a D6 to start off with. Down to an A major with the third in the bass, the C sharp. Then an E major with a fifth in the bass. D major with a fifth in the bass. And then we slide into an A major seven. Followed by this A major seven. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope that's been a useful lesson for you. You can support this channel and get the lesson resources on my Patreon page. And you can check out all my guitar books on Amazon. Links are in the description box below. And you can also book online lessons with me if you wanna cover any genre in depth. Take care and I'll see you soon.